Hi everyone, my name is Bumi Adelaya. Every week, I will be going on a journey around our wonderful country, Nigeria. And I want to invite you on what will be a culinary delight as we taste the food of Nigeria, the way we prepare it, cook it, and enjoy it. On our journey, we will travel together to some wonderful cities, towns, and places around this great and diverse country of ours. It is a journey I look forward to, and on which I hope you will join me as we meet new people like you, join them in their happy homes as they share the way they cook and prepare their favorite foods. Come along with me as we explore Nigeria right here on Delicious Niger, brought to you by Maggie. Now I've come to realize that Nigeria is indeed blessed with different cultures. Each ethnic group represents the beauty of this country and the food deliciously diverse. This is Delicious Niger and I'm your host Bumi. I've just gotten off a camel and I am walking up the steps of Dalla Hill. Why? To give you a view that is truly breathtaking. Welcome to the magnificent city of Kano in Nigeria. Pits are also very popular, with the Kofar Mata dye pit established as far back as 1498. It is still being used today. Like almost everyone who is not from Northern Nigeria, I am guilty of always requesting from my friends who visit any city in this region for a particular snack. Yes, I too love Kilishi. Now, let's go find out how this particular Northern delicacy is made. Hi. So, how do you make it? And now that is some authentic kilishi from Kano. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a common Nigerian saying that goes, soup was sweet, now money kill them. It alludes to how expensive it can be to prepare a decent meal. Our style, however, believes you don't have to break the bank to prepare a delicious meal. And she will be showing us how. Yeah, my name is Halima, married and blessed with three kids. I'm 27 years old, I'm a school teacher. Well, I'm also a graduate. My husband, Ibrahim, is a nice person and I appreciate everything in my husband because he's been nice to me <laughs> and I love that. Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I have two kids with him. Yeah, Adnan and Al Amin. One is three years and the other is nine months. Um, Adnan is more attached to me because he, he feels like going to his mom's side, she treats him 
stereotype, like the teacher's way of bringing up a kid. That's because I didn't want to overpower no him. Yeah, okay. That's, that's accepted. <laughs> yes, that's, that's accepted. It. Things I would say about her, I think, uh, the way she dresses. Don't forget my complexion yeah. that attracts you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. She checked like five boxes in my checklist, and that's why I just love her so much. We are a family of ten here. We live with a standard family is okay by me. People think we are too much, and I like it like that because we interact together, eat together, chat together, and we play together. Even my kids feel free. I enjoy the way she cooks, and each time I'm out, I try as much as possible. I look forward to her cooking always, which makes me not to eat outside at all. She can really manage, no matter how little the money is to make a very delicious and nutritious meal. Well, I invited Bumi over to Kano to teach her some local dishes and to teach her how to cook for a family of six with little money. We are going to cook grasa with me and Taoshi. Grasa is a locally made bread and it's flat, while me and Taoshi is vegetable soup. Oh, Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> Hello, my family. Hi. This is my brother, my Hello. husband, Hello. and my sister. This is my cousin's sister. Good <laughs> to be here. Thank you very Welcome. much. Welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Madame Bumi, so how are you doing? I'm fine. Hey, look, let me get you something. <laughs> Thank you. Something is our Zobo. Yes, do you like it? I love Zobo. Thank you. This is good. Yes. Okay. What are we making? So we're making grasa and me and Taoshi. Grasa and me and Taoshi. Yes. Good. Okay. Can you pronounce it? Ah, <laughs> I'm, learning, I'm learning fast. I'm learning very, very fast. <laughs> Fantastic. I guess we, we go shopping okay. now? Yes, we go to Taroni Market. Okay, can we go? Let me get my purse so okay. I'll go there. So, I'm going to with my friend. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Welcome to Taroni Market. We are Taroni here. Market. Yes, this is Taroni Market. Okay. We are here to shop for Grasa and me and Taoshi. Grasa so and welcome. Me. Yeah. Thank you very much. How do you know when the meat is fresh? Mm, with the color. Okay. Yeah, if I see meat that is brownish, I don't go for it. So what are we buying next? Mm, we're buying a leaf. Now that's spinach. Yes. I <laughs> love spinach. Okay. I'll buy so, this 50 naira. 50 naira. And this is yakwa. Yakwa. Yes, look at can it. I, can I see? This is zorel leaves. Yeah. I'll buy this 50 naira also. 50 naira, 100 naira. I am counting. 700. I am counting. <laughs> Now yeah. go <laughs> Okay, so what are we getting next? Mm-hmm. Kabiwa, the last but not the least. Pumpkin? Yeah, this is Kabiwa. Okay. Yes. So how do you know your Kabiwa is I would is like fresh? to get it. Just to see if it's not empty. Okay. To know that it is matured. Oh, wow. Yes, it is empty. Nah, it's not really matured. And it comes in different colors. Orange yes, depending one. on the soil. How much of it are you buying? 250 naira old. <laughs> Yes. We're still within budget. We're still within budget. Yes, that's one thousand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Excuse me, I want my gift. Fifty naira. So, how much is now, Ali? One thousand naira. Just one thousand. Yes. <laughs> so we have one thousand left. Yes. Yes, yes that is what's too much. Thank you very Bye. much. We finished with our ingredients. Awesome. With, uh, me and Tauke ingredients. Ingredients for me and Tauke. Yes. Okay. Now so we just have to buy claw. Okay. And yes, I have the for that too. So. That's for the burrata. Yes, that's for the burrata. Half time. 
So we are back from the market. Yes. Let's see if we stay within our budget. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. This is two hundred. Okay. Yeah. The pumpkin. Yeah. This is two hundred and fifteen naira. Nikin. This is ground. Ground nut. Yes. This is two hundred. This is dry fish. fish. This is two hundred and fifteen naira. Two fifty. Yeah. So this is our biscuit bone that fill up the pot. Okay. So everything there in total we spend up to a thousand and seven hundred fifty naira. So we're still on budget. Well done. <laughs> well done. We found the granules. Okay. Now that we are done with cutting it, we are going to blend the pepper, the pumpkin, and the onions all together. Okay. And water. Uh, now we are done with the blending. Okay, I washed the sorrel leaves, the yakwa. Yeah. I love sorrel leaves. Really? Yeah, it's a tangy herb. Yeah. And full of vitamins. You know, very healthy. That's yakwa for you. That's yakwa. <laughs> So, now that we are done with the ingredients for preparing our mie and mie chow and yes, let's go for grassa. Two cups of this, one, two, two yeah. three tablespoons okay. of sugar, one, two, two three. three, and half teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we mix everything together. By the way, I always see my flour before making use of it, okay. and this one is already sick. So. We're now putting our instant yeast. One tablespoon. Nice. Yes. And I mix all together. <laughs> now I, I add my boiled water. Boiled water. Yes. Just one. Can you see? Yes, I see. This is how I roll it. I want it to get smooth. It's stiff dough. Yeah. Now we'll cover it for it to rise. Okay. Yeah. So we need to set this aside for 45 minutes in one place for okay. it to rise up. Alright. Yes. Now we go and prepare our meal and tau she. You get me? <laughs> Let's too. go. Well, okay. now that we are done with everything, okay. we're going to start our meal and tau she. So, what do you want first? Tamoy. You add this two spoon of this. Yeah. And secondly, that one then? Yes. And I think it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Now let's add some branded pepe. This is the dawa. The dawa. Yeah, okay, the dawa, crayfish, yaji. We fried everything together. So we let this fry for how many minutes? Ten minutes. About ten minutes. Yeah. Halima, yes. is this how you keep things in your fridge? Yes. Ah, you know what? No. Once this is ready, I'll show you how I arrange really it. Really? Let's give you some tips. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this is our meat and stuff. Okay, let's put that ever Yes. Let me have the fish. fish. Yeah. It's time to add my favorite season, Maggie Star. Okay. I need three cubes. Three cubes. Yeah. Now we stay. Let me get my kabiwa. Thank you. Now we reduce the heat and leave for 10 minutes. Okay. So now that we're waiting for it to cook, yes. let me show you how I keep my fridge. Fine, let's go. So, when I want to store things in my fridge, yeah. I use certain things. Okay. I use um, a bowl that has yeah. a cover, yeah. an air size cover. Mm -hmm. 
I have masking tape. Mm -hmm. Now I use this to label the bowls okay. and the date. Okay. The marker to write with. <laughs> I have um, a nylon bag. I prefer to use Ziploc, but sometimes when you don't have Ziploc, you yeah. can use a nylon bag. Yeah. And you just simply tie. Right. The plastic bowl is for pepper, liquids, or anything and that you want to paint. freeze. Yes. When you're putting it in, you make sure that it's not completely full you leave some space at the top of the bowl so that mm. it breathes. Uh, so this is the leftover pepper from uh, me and Taoshi. Yes. <laughs> so we we'll, we'll label it. Yeah. And like I said, I like to put the dates. Mm. When storing vegetables in a fridge, the lower compartment serves best for proper storage. You can keep your vegetables in Ziploc bags or wrap them in old newspapers before putting them into the fridge to preserve their freshness for longer. To get rid of unpleasant odors, place an open dish of baking soda towards the back of the fridge to absorb and rid the fridge of any unwanted smells. Alternatively, you can use charcoal pieces for storing soups and stews in a deep freezer. Put portions in tightly covered bowls and label with names and dates to keep track of how long anything has been in the freezer. Remember to use up any portion brought out completely and not refreeze after thawing. This is how you arrange wow. your fridge. Wow, thank you So very that it's much. properly done and there's no foul order. Oh, this is very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Aha. So, what next? Let's check out. Yeah. This pot is really looking full. Really? Now I believe this can feed six people. <laughs> so, this is my granite. I like to use roasted granite because it has a nutty taste. You must eat a lot of granite yourself. Yes. See how fresh your skin is looking. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you know granite has a lot of anti-aging properties. Yes. And it's full of vitamins. Yes. It's very healthy. <laughs> Now the vegetables. Which one do you want first? The yakwa. Yakwa. Yes. There you go. I like to put my vegetable last. Okay. So that it gets its nutrients and I don't overcook it. Done now. Okay. <laughs> so this is ready? Yeah, our soup is ready. Now we go for our grass. For the grass? Yes. Wow, this is our grass. So you see it has risen up. It has. So yes. Has now we roll it. Okay. Yes, and dry fry it on the skillet. On the skillet. Yes. So you load it. Are you passing the same? Mm -hmm. The aroma. Yeah. This is our local bread grass. So let's turn and see if it gets in the yeah. Good. Wow. So have you seen it? Now our grass is ready. Thank you. Okay. So our grass is done now. Okay. Let's dish our me and Taoshi so we can go and eat. Let's dish our me and Taoshi. It looks really nice. Really? Yes, it does. Thank you. <laughs> Say delicious Niger. Delicious, delicious Niger. Niger. Dinner time at the Ibrahims was a different and intimate experience. I witnessed how good food can bring families together and how traditional values like eating together strengthens a family's bond. has been a colorful blend of experience and taste. Kanu is no doubt the commercial hub of the North and traditional home-cooked meals are in surplus supply.
This is Dawanu Grain Market. I hear it is the biggest grain market in West Africa. It only goes to show how rich Kano is in food and agriculture. I'd like to say thank you to Halima for that delicious food moment. Thank you for your hospitality. Till I come your way again from another delicious part of Niger, this is Bumi saying goodbye from Kanu. For more information on how to prepare Gurasa and Mi and Taoshe, follow us on Instagram at Maggie underscore Nigeria and on Facebook or YouTube at Maggie Nigeria. Nestle, good food, good life.